What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This will be a recap for From Season 3 Episode 1, which I believe is titled Shattered or Shatter. So Episode 1 starts with Tabitha looking out the window of St. Anthony's Hospital. Dr. Brody reminds her she was found in the woods with no ID and starts grilling her for answers. But Ta Tabitha is a bit hesitant to let her guard down. After Dr. Brody leaves the room, Tabitha gets dressed and sneaks out trying to leave the hospital. She makes it outside just as officers arrive to question her, I assume. She starts wandering the town, sees the little boy in white across the street, then proceeds to follow him. She wanders into a coffee shop but the boy she touches is someone else so she thought that was the boy in white so she leaves the shop after apologizing to the boy's mother boyd is shown talking to father Katri while he patches himself up inside the post office he questions what the entity is since the last entity he saw before smashing the music box wasn't his wife jim talks to boyd about going into the woods to find tabitha and says he'll use the talisman to stay safe but boyd warns against it at Colony House, Fatima is shown throwing up inside of a restroom while Nikki waits for her to get out. Ellis tries to comfort her, but Fatima leaves to be alone. Boyd tells Jim and Kenny about what him and Sarah encountered in the woods. Kenny decides he's going to go with Jim, but Boyd asks him to talk outside for a second. Kenny doesn't want to see Julie and Ethan lose their parents because he knows what that's like. They hear a noise and go to discover Jade lying on the floor and rambling like he's lost his mind. Back in the town, Tabitha continues wandering until she sees two girls with cell phones and asks one if she can borrow it really quick. Tabitha makes a phone call to her mom and explains she doesn't want her to worry. Her mom explains police have been looking for her, Jim, and the kids. Tabitha quickly ends the call and notices a nearby church. At the diner, Kenny prepares to leave with Jim. Jim is shown walking to Ethan or talking to Ethan and Julie about going to find Tabitha. He hugs them and says he'll be back soon. Jim leaves with Kenny and Ellis asks Boyd to come to the field. Donna shows him that the food is going rotten, which means they are out of food or gonna run out of food. Randall and Victor are about to brawl when Randall takes the goat Alma for food, but Boyd comes to intervene when Victor pulls out a gun. Boyd tells everyone watching that what happened today was a setback, but they have to make everything last so they can go home together. In the woods, Jim and Kenny start following these skeleton statues and discover a shack. Kenny suggests they take a look around first before spending the night in the church tabitha is making a confession she says she didn't come here to talk about god since he'd be responsible for the terrible place she just came from tabitha storms out saying this was a mistake but the priest follows her and she starts explaining where she's been and how she escaped through a tree but needs to get back to her family inside of the lunch box she got from victor tabitha discovers an address and decides to go there at Colony House, Elgin is still struggling with his nightmares. Boyd, Donna, and Kenny's mom are shown talking about the food shortage. Boyd goes over making the animals last him a few weeks or a month. Ethan overhears this conversation and storms off. Boyd talks to Ethan about killing the animals, and Ethan wants Alma to go first so she doesn't have to watch her friends die. Tabitha goes to Colony or goes to the house from the lunchbox and discovers a man. It's Victor's father who recognizes the lunchbox Tabitha is holding. In the shack, Kenny and Jim talk about getting up to higher ground and following the spiders like Boyd said. Jim wrestles with the idea that Tabitha wouldn't want him out here abandoning Ethan and Julie. The monsters are shown messing with the animals while Jade wakes up at the post office and shares a drink with Boyd. Boyd notices the animals are loose in the streets and tries to get them back in the barn. Victor and Kenny's mom go outside to help round up the animals. Ethan, Ethan lets a monster inside after noticing Alma in the streets. Julie and Ethan run outside and hide with Sarah. Randall calls them over to hide on the bus. Boyd and Kenny's mom get one animal back to the farm and hide inside the hide inside from the monsters. But inside of the barn are other monsters who attack them. Boyd is forced to watch the monsters kill Kenny's mom, and the episode concludes. Now, going into episode two, you guys can expect to get some answers from that man who again is Victor's father. He'll expand a little bit more on Tabitha, not Tabitha, I meant to say Miranda, which is Victor's mom. And that's what is the biggest thing featured in episode two. You'll find out a little bit more about Miranda's visions and what's in the basement and how it connects to Miranda and Victor's time in Fromville. 
So I hope you guys enjoy episode two. And I am sorry for anyone who was hoping that it wouldn't be Kenny's mom. I'm sorry, but it was her. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification. You never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.